Everyone can be hypnotized. People do respond differently. Mm -hmm. So let's try a little test to see how you're going to do. Sure. Okay? All right. It's the only weird thing I'm going to ask you to do. Okay. Okay. What I would like to ask you to do is to put your arms out like this. Okay. And to close your eyes. Okay. All right. Now, hypnosis is accessed by imagination. And what I'd like you to do is to picture as best you can. Oh, that's good. It's picture that your left wrist is becoming very heavy. Because on your left wrist, imagine a large gold bracelet that weighs maybe 35 or 40 pounds. Just picture a big gold bracelet. While at the same time, your right arm is beginning to become very light. Because attached to your right wrist, imagine a large red helium balloon. Your right arm is getting even lighter now because your right arm goes through a change. It becomes a feather. A big white feather with a red helium balloon. Yanking your right arm up, pushing your left down. Your left getting even heavier now because your left arm becomes itself transformed. It becomes a bar of lead. From your shoulder down to the very tips of your fingers, your left arm a bar of lead with a bracelet that's pushing now without moving down. your arms. Open your eyes. You can put them down. Were you surprised at how far it moved? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I could feel it moving a, a, yeah. a little, but I was, you know, I wasn't cognizant that it was that far apart. I could feel a little shift, but... Uh, okay, good. Wow, yeah, that's, okay. that's interesting. Yeah. And just imagine now that your eyelids are becoming very heavy. You picture your eyelids as heavy as if they were made of lead again, or as if they were glued shut with super glue. And when you're confident, you visualize that so heavy you couldn't possibly open your eyes. Give it a little try, and a genuine try, and you'll notice they are indeed locked. Feeling the tightness, the lock. Maybe they're welded shut. Give it a genuine try, and feel they're perfect. You tried it that time, right? Good. Now that your words have content, but they also have sound with tone and texture. And keep in mind that your intention is to be somebody who is more relaxed, more at peace, more confident, not just a great reporter, but great at everything that you do, comfortable, at peace, like you've turned a corner as you begin to drift down. Now, I'm going to ask you on the count of five to return to normal consciousness, give you a feeling for the room, one, remembering everything you need to, two, consciously and subconsciously, that you've had a good experience, have a good clear sense of what hypnosis could be, the power to change, and the power to be who you are, strong, confident, at peace. Four and five. Welcome back. <laughs> so is that relaxing now? It was. It's uh it's not quite what I thought it would be. It's not um, you know, you see people being hypnotized and you think that they're out of it. I was aware, you know, sure. of you know, where I was. I didn't, you know, think I was a drift in you right. know, the sea or anything. Here. But it was uh when you mentioned um you forget parts of your body, um it almost maybe I for some reason realized I'd forgotten about my feet. Yeah. I don't know, that's, <laughs> that might sound weird. It sounds perfectly right.